We've talked a little bit about IP addressing, but now we have to get a little bit deeper into it. Hit that subscription button, hit that notification bell. Here we go. What is the purpose of an IP address? Now it may sound like at first glance, like well to uniquely identify a device. That is true, but really we already have unique addresses for, I, for each device, which is a MAC address. It's issued at, at birth of the device. So what does an IP address actually do? A, it can be dynamic. It not only can be, but most of the time is dynamic. It actually does change uh, over time. But specifically, the purpose of an IP address is to designate a network ID versus something called a host ID. Uh, so when you, let's just throw out a, per, a, a sample IP address, 192.168.10.10. We could say the 192.168 is the network ID and the .10.10, the last half of it, is the host ID. What's a host? This, right? Any client device, any device that connects to a network is called a host. My Mac that I'm using right now has an IP address and it knows that there's some portion of the IP address that it's its network identifier, and there's another portion of it that is a unique host identifier. So how does the computer know which part is the network and which part is the host? Because, uh, real thriller here, real, real crazy, it can change. So what makes it? It's something called the subnet mask. The subnet mask a lot of times has a lot of 255s in it. Remember I told you, you need to learn binary to decimal conversion and it probably wasn't super exciting for you and I don't blame you. But when you learned that, you learned that the number 255 in decimal equals all ones in binary. So if you think about numbers on top of each other, the 192.168, it has a whole bunch of 255, two 255s underneath of it. That actually is masking that. It's saying, okay, every, all those are ones. The, the, that's really 16 ones together that designates the first 16 bits, which is 192.168, as the network ID. Inside of a computer, it actually kind of draws a line. So if you put, uh, all, you put all your IP address in binary, you put all the subnet mask in binary, and at the rightmost bit in the 255 or in the, in the subnet mask, you draw a line, the left side is your network ID, the right is your host ID. But let's talk about why this is important. Computers need to know, when I'm gonna to speak to an I, another IP address, if I'm gonna communicate with Sam's device that's sitting over there, if I'm gonna communicate with it, is it local to me or is it not local? Is it on a different network than me? Now don't think of network physically, think of network what's called logically, meaning it has different a different ID. If I'm on 192.168 network and he's on 10.10 um, .10 network, that is a different network. IPs, um, there's a lot of them. And instead of manually assigning them, way back when, when I got into networking, a lot of times we would manually assign an IP address. That means you would go into settings on your computer and you would actually type in, oh, uh, Sam, you're gonna be 192.168.5.2. Oh, okay, he would type that in and I'm gonna be 5.3. We don't do that. A lot of networking equipment has what's called a static IP address, but 99% of all the devices in the world that connect automatically get one through something called DHCP. It stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. Uh, DHCP has a lot of functions, but the primary one that everyone associates with DHCP is assigning an IP address. Very simply, you boot up your machine, you connect to a new wireless LAN, I connect, it's going to go request an IP address, my phone will request an IP, and some machine out there called a DHCP server will give me that address. All I want you to gather from this video is this, is that inside of an IP address, there's two separate components. There's the network ID and the host ID. All that means to a computer is when it says, okay, I'm gonna communicate with another IP address, is that IP local to me or is it not? If it is, I'm gonna send it out. If it's not local, I need to send it to somebody else to handle it for me. Fun video, lots of info. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And we're gonna keep on with this education.